guys, this is Manal Gupta here with another video on custom ROM for Redmi Note 3 and you can see this ROM is Android Marshmallow based ROM and is the CM13 ROM by Santosh. So here you can see it's Cyanogen Mod 13, the device is Redmi Note 3. And the Android version is 6.0.1, which is Android Marshmallow. So this room is pretty stable now. Everything works, including the fingerprint sensor. You can see it works really flawlessly, and everything is improved. You can see the Wi-Fi is working, and the GPS is also working fine. Further, the SIM cards are also working, but Currently I have not inserted any of the SIM cards so it's showing blank. Now coming to the other stuff like battery backup. Here you can see the battery backup is really nice but this gap is due to flashing and stuff. But I used this around 72 or 73% currently it is 69 or something. So you can see the screen usage is 2 hours 11 minutes which includes gameplay of basic game like 8 ball pool, browsing and few apps. So this is really amazing. The battery backup is good we can say that. Further no other issues are present as such the performance is good but not the best. Still so there are few lags remaining in this room. Further now coming to the bugs. The first bug which all of you will notice is the notification LED bug. This bug is the notification LED does not blink. The second bug that we can say in this room is the lagginess. There are few lags. Now the third bug that we can say is the 4K support. Even after using the Google Cam, the 4K is not recognized by this device now. So this is really bad. There is no 4K. The maximum that it reads is 1080p. Another bug that many reported is the OTG bug. You cannot connect OTG cable but using AS Explorer you may be able to connect it. So this is a bug that the notification is not popped up. Further another bug is the root bug, the super SU bug that is still buggy though it my, in my case everything is working perfectly till now including this titanium backup and the root SS. Everything is good as of now. Further there are those few bugs the major bug that we can see is the LED bug and there are few audio formats which are not supported by this custom ROM yet further everything works fine on this custom ROM experience with everything is good there are minimal lags the major thing that is fixed in this is the fingerprint so this is a tricky ROM you have to take care of lot of things while flashing this room a video guide soon will be uploaded regarding that also so stay tuned for that and how to flash this room without heartbreaking your device so that was all a quick review of this Cyanogen mod room which is Cyanogen 13 so that was all from my side thank you for watching this video again stay tuned and do subscribe to our channel